Today, we are learning all about 3D shapes. How to sort these into different groups. So first up, here is today's Walt and our steps to success. So, our Walt today is we are here to learn to sort different 3D shapes. So our steps to success. Step 1. I can describe the properties of a 3D shape. Step 2. I can identify a 3D shape. Step 3. I can use a Venn diagram. And step 4. I can sort 3D shapes in a Venn diagram. Right, now that we've got that sorted and out of the way, we need to know, make sure we know all the properties of 3D shapes. And you should know these before you're watching this video. Okay, so let's quickly go through them all, shall we? Well, very quickly, let's recap the features of 3D shapes. This, we should all know, is a cube. And if we remember, we have got faces, we have got edges, yeah, as you can see, all those there, edges, and we also have something called vertices where which means where all these edges meet at a point we have got vertices oh but a very quick thing don't tell anybody else this is a cone you see this little point at the top that is not a vertex or a vertices because there are no edges joined onto it okay so just a quick hint for, hint for the future that is not a vertex. Right, so now that we know the properties of 3D shapes, we can have a go trying to sort them into different groups. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mr. Walker, those are just two overlapping circles. <gasps> but they're not. What you say? I know, right? This is what we call a Venn diagram. Okay, both circles need a label. So this circle over here says three faces or less. So any shapes or object that have three faces or less go into that circle. And this circle over here says curved faces. So basically any shapes that have a curved face can go into that circle. Now hold on a minute, this is really weird. Because in the middle, the circles overlap with each other, and we've got a little space in the middle. Well, that means that if a shape or an object has three faces or less, and has a curved face, that means they go in the middle of our Venn diagram. But what do you think happens if a shape doesn't have three faces or less, or does it, and doesn't have a curved face. Well, if it doesn't have any of those things, then we just throw it outside the circle because it doesn't fit in our Venn diagram. Oh, it's going to be all on its own. Eh, well, that's what happens. Okay, so for our very first shape, we have got. Ta da! Oh! Any idea what this shape is called? Well, super easy way to tell what shape this is called, because if you look at the base of the shape, it's a square face. So we call this shape a square-based pyramid. Because it looks like a pyramid, and it's got a square base. So, looking at our Venn diagram, we need to decide where this shape is going to go. Well, first of all, does it have three faces or less? Let's count them, shall we? We have got, uh, we're going to have to use our finger here. One, two, three, four, five. So, it can't go in that circle because it's got more than, five fa uh, more than three faces. Okay, let's try this next circle. Does it have a curved face? No. Okay, so 
Where do you think this shape would go on our Venn diagram? Hmm. Well, you're right. Okay. Ah, uh, this shape, if we were to put it on our Venn diagram, would have to go outside of our Venn diagram because it doesn't fit in any of the circles. So look a little bit like this. Right, let's have a go with a different shape. Any idea what shape did we call this? Well, this is a cylinder and it's got one, two, three faces. It's got one, two edges, but it's got no vertices. Okay, so let's see where it fits in our Venn diagram, shall we? So let's see. First of all, does it have three faces or less? Well, one, two, three, yeah. So this cylinder could actually fit here. Hmm, hold on, but before we finish doing that, let's check. Does it have any curved faces? Does it, so does it curve? Well, this face here does curve because it curves right round. So it's also got a curved face. So let's see. It's got three sides, three faces or less, and it's got curved faces. So where do you think a cylinder would go in our Venn diagram? Hmm. Pause, have a think, talk to your partner, and let's see whether or not you think where it goes is the same where I think it needs to go. Okay, back. Woo! So, what do you reckon? Do you think it goes here? Do you think it goes here? Do you think it goes here? Or here? Well, a cylinder has both of these things, so that means it needs to go in the middle of our Venn diagram, so it looks a bit like this. Alright, now before we finish, We've got to make sure that we've followed our steps to success to see whether or not we have met our target of being able to sort different 3D shapes. So let's check our steps to, so steps to success. It's very important. Very, very important. So let's check off our steps to success and see whether or not we've managed to do this target. So, step one. I can describe the properties of a 3D shape. Yeah, we know we've got vertices, we've got vert faces, and we've got edges. Step two, I can identify a 3D shape. Well, yeah, we knew a square-based pyramid, and we knew a cylinder, so we can take that off. Step three, I can use a Venn diagram. Uh, yeah, I think I explained how to use a Venn diagram. Step four, I can sort 3D shapes in a Venn diagram. Yeah, and we've managed to do that pretty successfully. So we've managed to do step one, step two, step three, and step four, which means we've managed to meet this target and we can sort different 3D shapes using a Venn diagram. Awesome! Okay, so you've watched the video, we've done our steps to success, we've met our target of being able to sort 3D objects. If you think you've understood what you've watched and you've got no questions at all to ask the teaching assistant, then, what I'd like you to do is to go and choose your next activity, okay? But, if you are stuck at all, and you're thinking, ah, I didn't quite get that last part, rewind the video, watch it again, and see if you understand it better. Or, if you still don't understand it, and you think, you know, I still don't quite get this, ask a friend. Ask your partner who's also listening, listening to it with you. Hi, partner. Okay, and ask them if they could explain it to you as well. If you both don't understand it, then perhaps then it's a good idea to say, okay, I think I'm going to need to ask Miss, Miss here to help me with this. So let's go and ask Miss. Miss! Okay, good luck. I hope you've understood this, and I hope you have fun sorting 3D shapes.